International cricket matches are played between teams representing their nations, normally organized by the International Cricket Council The main forms are test matches, one-day matches and 2020 matches. Most games are played as parts of tours, when one nation travels to another for a number of weeks or months, and plays a number of matches of various sorts against the host nation. The ICC also organizes competitions that are for several countries at once, including the Cricket World Cup, ICC Champions Trophy and ICC World 2020. History There was no formal structure for international cricket until the early 21st century. It had long been traditional for countries, without any intervention from a body such as the ICC, to organize for themselves the various cricket matches. The ICC later committed the test playing nations to play each other in a program of matches over a period of ten years known as the ICC Future Tours program. This system was set up to encourage some of the better established countries to play the lesser nations more frequently. Tours Outline Most test, one-day and 2020 matches take place in the form of tours. In a tour, one nation travels to another and plays warm-up matches, first-class matches against domestic teams such as county or state teams, a series of test matches against the host nation, and either a series of one-day and T20 matches against the host nation or a tournament involving the host nation and another touring nation. Test series can last from two to six matches. Six-match series were common in the 1970s and early 1980s, with the last six-match series to date taking place in 1997-98 between the West Indies and England. Ashes Test Series in England were six-match affairs between 1981 and 1997, but Australia reverted to five matches in its home series from 1982-83. The most important series last four or five matches, while the less important ones last two to three matches. At most, a perpetual trophy is awarded to the winning team. Perpetual trophies include The Ashes for England versus Australia is the most famous perpetual trophy. Frank Worrell Trophy Australia West Indies Trans-Tasman Trophy Australia New Zealand Test Series Chappelle Hadley Trophy, Australia New Zealand ODI Series, Border Gavaskar Trophy, Australia India, Wisden Trophy, England West Indies, Warren Moraladaran Trophy, Australia Sri Lanka, Basil de Oliveira Trophy, England South Africa, Patata Trophy, England India Test matches played in England, Sobers Tisara Trophy, West Indies Sri Lanka. Anthony de Mello Trophy England India Test matches played in India Freedom Trophy India South Africa the one day series lasts from 3 to 7 matches usually the shorter one day series are played at the same time as longer test series although the one day matches and test matches are usually played in groups these days it is rare that a test series is interrupted by one day internationals T20 series last from 1 to 3 matches the triangular tournament format is often used when one tour is about to conclude and the other has just begun or may include one team only for that tournament in the tournament the three teams play each other either two or three times the two teams with the most points usually two points for a win one point for a no result or tie and no points for a loss qualify for the one game final the bonus point system is also sometimes used in a triangular tournament including the Australian tri series and the NatWest series topic <laughs> ICC future tours program In 2001 the ICC decided to create a plan designed to make all ICC full member countries play each other for test cricket over a period of 10 years known as the ICC 10-year plan. This was approved in February 2001 by the ICC member countries. Starting from 2002 and running until 2011, it ensured that each test country played the other nine home and away over a period of 10 years, in addition to any matches the individual cricket boards organized on their own. 
Thus, India and Pakistan played 12 ODIs and 6 tests against each other in their respective countries not including neutral ground ODI tournaments such as the Asia Cup from 2004 to April 2005, and played a further series of 3 tests and 5 ODIs in the winter of 2006. However, because of the rigorous schedule of the 10-year plan, there was hardly any time left over to schedule other series, and there were voices criticizing the amount of international cricket that is played, with the risk of injury and player burnout as reasons for why this amount should be reduced. The ICC defended their policy, citing the number of international players in English county cricket as a sign that there was not too much cricket for the players. Despite criticism of its original 10 year plan, the ICC created an ICC Future Tours Programme, or FTP for short. In the same way as for the 10 year plan, this is a schedule of international cricket tours which structure the programme of cricket for ICC full members, with an objective of each team playing each other at least once at home and once away over a period of 10 years. If the cricket boards of two individual countries reach an agreement, they can play more than two series. If a team doesn't want to travel to a particular country for a bilateral series due to security reasons, then, by the mutual agreement of the respective boards, that series can be shifted to a neutral venue or another country with appropriate facilities, such as in the United Arab Emirates. Recently, the Pakistan cricket team has played many of their home bilateral series on Emirati soil. <laughs> Matches at neutral venues. In addition to tours, nations may organize one-day matches at neutral venues. The Sahara Cup was a one-day series played annually between India and Pakistan in Toronto, until the Indian government ordered the suspension of all cricketing ties with Pakistan due to repeated ceasefire violations and failure to maintain the peace agreement. The BCCI revived ties in 2004. Similarly, a semi-annual triangular tournament was organized at Sharjah, in the United Arab Emirates. However, the tournament has lost its luster because the overwhelming number of cricket matches has spoiled the pitch. In contrast to the one-dayers, tests are almost never held in neutral venues. A once-off triangular test tournament was held in England in 1912, which saw South Africa play Australia in three tests at neutral venues, but otherwise it has only been security risks which have seen tests played on neutral soil. Most notably, Pakistan has hosted Test series in England, the UAE and Sri Lanka in the 21st century. Security implications have also affected tours to Sri Lanka and tours to Zimbabwe in the past. Topic ICC main competitions In addition to the one-day series and tournaments organized by the nations themselves, the ICC organizes two one-day international tournaments. The World Cup is held every four years, it involves all the test-playing nations and a number of teams advancing from the immediately preceding ICC World Cup qualifier. The ICC Champions Trophy, previously known as the ICC Knockout Cup, is a shorter tournament held every four years in between World Cups. The ICC also organizes a T20 international tournament, the ICC World 2020, which is generally held every two years and, as in the latest competition, involves the ten full ICC members and six associate members who qualified through a qualifier competition. The ICC World 2020 qualifier, a league competition for test matches played as part of normal tours, the ICC World Test Championship, has been proposed several times, and is currently planned to begin in 2019. Events won by each team, total no of ICC main events played so far, Cricket World Cup, 11, Champions Trophy, 8, World 2020-6. Note, the 2002 ICC Champions Trophy was won by India and Sri Lanka, declared co-champions. <laughs> ICC International Rankings Topic. Test rankings The ICC Test Team Rankings are an international ranking system run by the ICC for the ten teams that play test cricket. This is simply a ranking scheme overlaid on all international matches that are otherwise played as part of regular test cricket scheduling, with no consideration of home or away status. In essence, after every test series, the two teams involved receive points based on a mathematical formula. 
The total of each team's points total is divided by the total number of matches to give a rating, and the test playing teams are ranked by order of rating this can be shown in a table. ODI rankings The ICC ODI team rankings were created, and are run, by the ICC for reasons similar to the test rankings. The rankings are simply an international ranking scheme overlaid on the regular ODI one -day international match schedule. After every ODI match, the two teams involved receive points based on a mathematical formula. The total of each team's points total is divided by the total number of matches to give a rating, and all teams are ranked on a table in order of rating. The ranking does not replace the World Cup, the latter still carries much more significance to most cricket fans. The ranking consists of two separate tables. The 10 ICC full members that play test cricket are automatically listed on the main table. The six associate members with one-day international status are listed on a secondary table, but are eligible for promotion to the main table by meeting certain criteria. T20I rankings As with the Test and ODI rankings, the ICC T20I team rankings are an international 2020 ranking system run by the ICC. It is simply a ranking scheme overlaid on the regular T20I match schedule. After every T20I match, the two teams involved receive points based on a mathematical formula. The total of each team's points total is divided by the total number of matches to give a rating, and all teams are ranked on a table in order of rating. This ranking does not replace the ICC World 2020 competition. Women's cricket Competitions for ICC associate members Competitions for member nations of the ICC with associate status include ICC Intercontinental Cup This allows teams the chance to play first-class cricket matches against teams of similar skill in a competition environment, and prepare them for eventual promotion to test cricket status. <laughs> World Cricket League The ICC WCL known as the Pepsi ICC World Cricket League for sponsorship reasons is a series of international one-day cricket tournaments for national teams without test status, administered by the ICC. All associate and affiliate members of the ICC are eligible to compete in the league system, which features a promotion and relegation structure between divisions. The league system has two main aims, to provide a qualification system for the World Cup that can be accessed by all associate and affiliate members, and as an opportunity for these sides to play international one-day matches against teams of similar standards. Since the WCL started in 2007, the final matches in the WCL have formed the ICC World Cup qualifier competition. This competition dates back to 1979. Topic: World 2020 Qualifier. Topic: Under 19s. Topic: See also. Test cricket. One day international. 2020 International ICC Future Tours Program List of International Cricket Council Members ICC Awards